Today we're going to be subtracting two four-digit numbers. When we do subtraction, it's important to remember that we take a smaller number away from a larger number. Therefore, our answer in a subtraction problem is always smaller than the number that we started with. It's great to use Dean's when we subtract because we can actually show what we're taking away. When we subtract using the Dean's, we want to actually pick up and move our Dean's in order to take them away. Here, we're subtracting 1,241. We always want to start with the ones place with our smallest digit. Here, we have one in the ones place, so I'm going to move one away from my starting number. Next, we move to the tens place. Here, we have four in the tens place, so I'm going to take away one, two, three, four from my original number. Next, we move on to the hundreds place. I have two in the hundreds place, so I will take away one, two hundreds. Finally, we move to the thousands place. Here, I have 1,000 that I need to take away, so I will remove 1,000 from my original number. I can check to make sure that I've taken away the proper amount by looking at my number here, 1,241, and seeing if it matches down here, 1,241. I have taken away the proper amount, so my final number is 1,102. So, 2,343 take away 1,241 leaves me with a final answer of 1,102. I have 4,672. And I want to subtract 1,251. First, I'm going to start in the ones place. Because here I'm taking away one, I'm going to remove one from the ones place. Next, I go over to the tens place. If we look at our number that we're subtracting, we have five tens that we're taking away. So from my Num my starting number, I'm going to take away one, two, three, four, five tens for a total of 50. Next, we move to the hundreds place. Because there are two one hundreds in the hundreds place, I'll take away two hundreds from my starting number. Finally, we move to the thousands place. I want to take away one thousand from my starting number. If I look back at my work, I can tell that I have taken away 1,251. Therefore, the number I have left here is my answer. 4,672 minus 1,251 is 3,421. This time, I have 5,169. And I want to subtract 2,714. Just like in our other examples, we're going to start with the ones place. Here, it's wanting me to take away four ones, so I can move one, two, three, four ones out. Next, we move to our tens place, where we have a one that we're taking away. I can move out one group of ten. Next, we need to move to the hundreds place. It's asking me to take away seven hundreds, but as you can see from our starting number, I only have one hundred here. But as we know from our knowledge of place value and from our exchanging and addition, we know that within each group of 1,000 is actually 10 groups of 100. So what I can do is I can switch out 
one group of 1,000 instead for 10 groups of 100. My number hasn't changed. I still have one, two, three, four, five thousands, but now it's much easier for me to take away seven hundreds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Finally, we move to the thousands place where I need to take away two groups of 1,000. Remember, I can check my work to make sure I've taken away the correct amount by checking here, 2,714, 2,714, which leaves me with 2,455. Here we have another example where we need to exchange some of our hundreds for tens. I'm starting with 2,617. I'm going to subtract 1,394. Remember, we're going to start in the ones place. It's asking me to take away four ones. One, two, three, four. Next, we move to the tens place where it's asking me to take away nine tens. If I look at my starting number, I only have one 10, but because we know that inside each group of 100, there are 10 tens, I can exchange 100 for 10 tens. Remember, my number hasn't changed at all. It just looks a little bit different. Now, it makes it much easier for me to take away nine tens from my starting number. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine tens are taken away. Next, we move to the hundreds place where we take away one, two, three hundreds. And finally, to the thousands place where I remove 1,000. To check my work, I can make sure that I have 1,394 taken away 1,394, which tells me that 2,617 minus 1,394 leaves me with 1,223. Here I'm going to show you an example of what to do if one of the digits in your number is a zero. I'm starting with 4,605. I'm going to take away 1,361. Starting in the ones place, I can see that I can easily take away one. Moving to the tens place, I notice I want to take away six tens. However, in my starting number, I have a zero in the tens place. Remember, we can easily solve this problem by exchanging one of our groups of 100 for 10 groups of 10. Remember, this hasn't changed our number at all. I still have six hundreds. It just looks a bit different. It makes it much easier for me to take away six groups of 10. Then we move to the hundreds place to take away three one, two, three hundreds, and finally to the thousands place to take away 1,000. I can check that I've taken away 1,361, 1,361, which I know will leave me with 3,244.